Heartfelt honor for a Great Bridge High School senior who died one year ago. Caitlin Duffy was killed in Virginia Beach last May. A drunk driver hit the SUV she and her friend Sabrina Mundorf were in. Mundorf, who is still recovering from the crash, came up with an idea to memorialize her best friend Duffy. 13 News Now reporter Stephen Graves is in the studio with the story. Yeah, that idea was simple, but with a lot of meaning and thought put behind it, a bench now a permanent fixture at one of Caitlin's favorite places. Why here? Why the Norfolk Botanical Garden a year later for Caitlin? We um, came twice in a row for Mother's Day and she actually, when she was here for her senior photographs, she said, I'd love to get married here in the garden someday. So it just kind of feels like we can be close to her here and sit on the bench and you know, it does bring some peace. It's peace that by no means has been easy to come by for Scott and Tammy Duffy over the last year. Um, it's hard to sleep at night still, so. Yeah, it's been, um, it's still difficult every day. Uh, it's probably going to be a while, I guess they say. The grief can take up to five years when you lose a child. One of the biggest things that keeps them going, support from you at home, prayers, messages from strangers. Others that have lost children and, uh, you know, it just, you know, it helps. You could say an uplifting time was last Saturday. This bench dedicated on what Tammy calls Caitlin's angel versary. It was an idea by Sabrina, Caitlin's best friend, who was seriously hurt when the two were hit by a drunk driver. And we both fell in love with her tattoo because we thought it was just perfect. We only part to meet again someday. And Sabrina's family has strong faith in one thing. They really feel that Caitlin sent her back. Yeah. That's their personal feeling that they sent her, her back to live a life for the two of them. A life, a legacy forever etched, now for others to see. Now a scholarship has also been set up for the at Great Bridge High in Caitlin's honor. It's already reached more than $40,000. The Duffies have since dedicated their lives to combat drunk driving. They say it's what Caitlin would want them to do. Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.